Welcome to HTML5 Tutorial 5, the head and basic styling. In this video, we'll be looking at adding a head to our web page to give information to the web browser about our web page, and how to do some basic styling to change the website's look. Every video have all slideshows and code available in the description. The head is part of the base structure of our HTML documents. The head's main role is to hold all of the information about the web page itself. The kind of information you'll find is things like metadata, the page title, styles, links to styles, as well as links to scripts and many other items. None of the information in the head section will appear as visible to the user. Though HTML5 does not require you to put all of this information inside the head tag, it must come before the start of the body tag. I'm telling you this so when you read HTML code that has been written by somebody else, you'll understand it's part of the head. Okay, so let's look at an important part of our web page, the title. The title is the text that appears on the top bar of our web browser window or tab. The title lets the user know what is on that page and for identifying what web page is open in what tab of their web browser. It's also used by search engines as the big text link that people click on. Okay, so let's add a title to our index.html document from last tutorial. What we'll call the page title, our first page. Okay, so first we'll have a look at the page in the browser. So if we open up our index.html, we see that the tab name is the file location, which we don't really want. We want it to have a page title. So we'll come over and edit our file. So we're going to open it up in Notepad++. And before our body is our head. So we're going to add our title in. So title, and then in between the tags, our starting and closing tag, we're going to put our title. So we'll do our first page, exclamation mark. Oop. And then we'll close off our title tag. And we can save that and we can run it. So we come back up here and we refresh. We'll see our tab is now called our first page. And if we have a look down here, we've got our first page is open in Mozilla. Cool. There are several more tags that can go into the head of our document. One is the meta tag. This tag allows us to add metadata to the page for search engines and also for the page information. The kind of information we would usually add is keywords, author details, page descriptions, and the page's character set. There is even an attribute that allows us to tell the page to refresh itself after a certain amount of time. Okay, here are some examples of some metadata. First, we have some keywords for the page that are comma separated. We also have a description of the page, the author of the page, then we have the more special meta attributes, HTTP equiv gives the header information to the web browser. Here we have told the page to refresh every 60 seconds. Finally, we have an example of telling the browser the character set that the page uses. Okay, so let's add some of these meta tags to our index.html. So we'll come across to our code and we'll do it uh, after our title. So we're going to do the meta tag space and then we're going to give it the attribute name and that name attribute will have the special name keywords. So we're going to add the keywords to our web page and the content attribute holds all the content for that, uh, for that metadata name. So we're going to have our first page and we'll also have HTML as a tag as a keyword and we'll also do test as a keyword and we'll close off our quotes for the content and then we can close off our tag. Now meta doesn't require a closing tag so if you wish you can uh, do a self-closing tag or you can just leave it um, unattended. Okay, so meta name dash, oh, name equals, sorry. And instead of keywords this time, we're going to do a description. And our content for our description will make it uh, equal to uh, our first test page. And we can close off the quotes for that and close off the meta tag. Now we'll do one last meta tag and we'll do this one can be our HTTP dash equiv to refresh the screen. So we'll do HTTP 
dash equiv and we're going to make it equal to refresh and the content for the refresh we'll set it to 10 so that it's nice and quick and we can see it refresh and we'll close off that tag cool we'll save this and we'll go have a look at it so come over open up our our uh, web page and if we keep an eye on the top tab we'll see that it will refresh itself it'll happen really quickly because there's not much uh, content on our web page there we go it just happened really quickly and we can't see our meta tags because they're not designed to be uh, seen by the user but if you want to check them out and make sure that they're all working we can right click and go view page info and when we do this it'll open up the page info and we can see that it's got three meta tags it's got the keywords for the web page the description and also uh, refresh and it's refreshing every 10 seconds cool okay now that we've got a little of the dirty work out of the way let's look at some basic styling styling on the web is done through the language called CSS which stands for cascading style sheets these styles are used to tell the browser how certain tags slash sections should be presented to the user there was some basic styling in older versions of HTML, however the responsibility has been left to CSS in HTML5. HTML5 does still support basic alignment of objects, but once again it's suggested to use CSS. Styles can be added to a web page in three different ways. First, we have the style tag that can be placed in the head section of our HTML5 document. Secondly, we can put a link to a separate style sheet file in our head section. And finally, we can add styles to individual items by using the style attribute. This is called inline styling. Okay, so let's add some very basic styling to our index.html. We'll set the background color of the page to gray, and we'll set all of the paragraphs to have blue text. We'll also use the align attribute to align our formatting paragraph to the center. I'm keeping this basic as CSS3 will be a whole separate tutorial. Okay. So we're going to come across to our code and inside of our head we're going to create a style tag and we'll close off our style tag. Okay so inside of our style tag we're going to style the p tag so for paragraph and then inside our curly braces so open curly braces we're going to do the color colon blue and then we'll do a semicolon to end that line and then we'll use our curly braces to close off the uh, the style for that tag okay now we'll go down to the next line and we're going to edit our body tag now now in our body tag we're going to open up our curly braces and we're going to set the background dash color colon and we're going to set it to gray and we'll close that off with a semicolon and close curly braces and that's our style written so we'll save that for the moment and we'll go and align our formatting uh, section so our h2 we're going to align equals and in quotes we're going to do center and we'll do it also for the paragraph underneath. So align equals open quotes center close quotes. Now we'll save this and we'll come over to our web browser to our first page and we'll have a look at it. So if we refresh, we'll see we've set the background to gray. All our paragraphs have blue text and our formatting has been aligned to the center rather than being over on the left hand side. So cool. This concludes our tutorial on the head and basic styling. I know the head can be a little confusing, so if you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer it as best as possible. The next topic we'll be looking at is creating tables and lists. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.